Mr. Hawkins? No, mm, 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 talking, talking. Uh, good morning, sir. I have everything that you requested. Oh, okay. You know, you, you can drop the, the Mr. Hawkins. <laughs> you know, it's just Jamal. Plus, I mean, you are my best friend's ex-girlfriend, so we like family already, you know what I'm saying? N no, not, 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 no ex. Um, that was, you know, just one of those little things in college, remember? I say so. <laughs> so, late night, sir? Yeah, yeah. How, how long was I out? Just about two hours or so, but I have this hot off the presses for you, Mr. Most Eligible Bachelor. Uh, hey, bitch. <clears throat> you look hot. Well, thank you very much. You know, if, if all goes well today, you will be working for the new CEO mm. and owner of Let It Roll Toilet Paper Incorporated. <laughs> so, like an erase? <laughs> Happy Baller Day! <laughs> My boy's coming up, so I got balloons for the money. I got a kazoo for the money, because you deserve the money, and God's about to give it to you. Oh, My brother, oh. the come-ups of all come-ups, because mm. when one of us makes it, mm, we all make it. Hello. Hey, Danny. You looking uh, mighty beautiful as usual. <laughs> you seem to be looking... Usual. Um, you got my fire let's see. They all punch up. Time. What's up, man? You just hey, You know, since my boy has hired you as his assistant, it's, it's, it's been quite nice having you around. Uh, it's kind of got me thinking about old times. You know, what, oh, 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 what okay, are you okay. thinking? Uh, uh, we can go slow. It's, it's cool. No, we are not going anywhere. Do you hear me? Can you have me acting a fool in front of my boss? Well, girl, I, I'm the reason you got this job. He's my best friend. I will break your arm. Do you hear me? Mm. You know what? This is so us. Danny's right. You do your... That's y'all. Mm. Hey, I, I gotta go. Hey, oh, uh, we still gonna party for the money, right? Yep, yep. I'll call the boys. Uh, tell your mama... Uh, oh. Oh. Well, lunch, at least. So how is he? He's doing okay. You would know that if you would visit a little bit more. No, I know. I've been busy running this company. I know, and working really hard at it. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you taking care of him. I know you don't have to. You're welcome. So you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's get this started. Well, I'm the one dying. I don't want everybody being all upset and stuff. Besides, I'm finally going to see your grandmother after all these years. So why not celebrate? Now, I see you all here. Welcome one and all to my last will and testament. As you all know, my wife and I only had one child, my son James. Unfortunately, he wasn't on this earth for this long. But before he departed, he left us with his two beautiful children. My granddaughter, Monica, from his first marriage, who I love dearly. I love you too, Grandpa. And my favorite grandson, Jamal, from his second marriage. Which is how I got blessed with my daughter-in-law, Avion. Thank you. Now, Avion, you had my Jamal. I did all this for you. You're just like me. You have a work ethic like no other. I'm proud of you, son. I hope you know I love you. I love you too, Grandpa. Before your father died, I, I taught you everything there was to know about this business, and few things about life. This is why I know <coughs> that they ain't nobody more qualified to run a little role other than you, son. <coughs> nobody. Now, with that said, Jamal, you will inherit my estate. Now, Monica, you'll receive 500 shares of company stock and a monthly stipend. Now, there is one little thing. The only way that you get everything <coughs> is you have to get married before I die. 
And I don't want it to be one of those sham weddings, you know, you know there's no shortcuts. I just want you to settle down and start a family. Now, I'm going to have my lawyers interview your bride to make sure that she's real. If they approve, you will inherit my estate and all of my company stock. If you, if you can't fulfill this task, then Monica will receive my estate. <laughs> and you will get 500 shares of company stock and a monthly stipend. Now, Monica, I know if you get my company, all you're going to do is sell it to the highest bidder. And that's not the way I want it to go. But I'd rather see it gone than see it destroy another man's life. And Jamal, this is for your own good. Everything else, you guys can talk to Timothy for the details. <coughs> Are you serious? <clears throat> I mean, this is the way you want to leave things. Clearly, clearly, you've gone see now. I mean, this, this is just ridiculous. This, this. No, don't mind her. I ain't never liked her mama no way. Listen, Jamal. Seeing your father born was the only feeling that surpassed the feeling of looking into your grandmother's eyes on our wedding day. Seeing love looking back at me. More than this money, this company, all this. Proverbs 12, 4 says, a wife is a husband's crown. <clears throat> I just want you to have your crown, son. <clears throat> John, Jamal has worked his entire life. I understand that, but now he got to dedicate some of that time to falling in love. Oh, good Lord. But, Grandpa, how am I supposed to fall in love before you die? Oh, I know you'll figure it out. I'm not worried about that. Just open your eyes. Ah. Uh. Yes, he's a little salty. Yes, he is. Yeah. Jamal. Jamal. Hmm. What, what's wrong with Grandpa? How, how can he do this to me? I, I have to fall in love and, and get married? And how long does he have? The, well, doctors say about three to six months, depending on if his condition worsens. I, oh, I just, this can't be happening. I know, baby. But, you know, there's a thing called love at first sight. Right? Mom, not everyone falls in love at first sight like you and Dad. Honey, it could happen. You just have to be open to it. I, I, I gotta go. Honey. <sighs> oh, God. Me and my father's firm, we look very much forward to doing business with you in the future. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for coming in, Connor. Mm -hmm. Tell George I said hi. I absolutely will. Yeah, you thank you for coming in. You look so handsome, You're all grown up. Look at you. <laughs> Coffee with cream on top? Well, thank you. Mm. So who was that? Well, not that it's any of your business, but... If all things go well, you're looking at the future company of my grandfather's business. Oh. That is for the price tag of $200 million. $200 million? Oh. <laughs> so now we just wait for your brother to fail. Oh, I've got a plan for that. You're going to be very busy. Am I? Yes. Care to share? Yeah, I would. But where's your notepad and stuff? I mean, you have to take notes for this situation. Oh, right. Uh, it's very important. I will be right back. Yeah, we're not best friends, friends or nothing. Just do your job. Can I get another shot, please? Oh. Not for me. Come on, man. Don't wimp out on me now. I got one night of freedom and my mom was with kids, and, you know. <laughs> and plus, our boy just got screwed out of hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Take one shot. My whole life, everything I worked hard for, man. Everything I worked for. 
All down the drain. Spirit Magazine's most eligible bachelor? Come on, you know how many thirsty thoughts just thinking about this fool? Want to know where he's at? Following his, his tweets, his Instagram. When's the last time Jay's been in a stable relationship? I said, well, what, maybe like, it's been like, what, maybe four or five years? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> so, more, how much time you got? Uh, three, six months top. Come on, man. That's not that bad. We could do this. Danny, how do you suggest we're going to fix it? I don't know. But I'm going to come up with something. We are going to find you a way. Hey, girl. Hey. Saw the magazine today. Yeah, I'm actually just looking at a copy of it right now. Well, how is it working for Mr. Bachelor? It's really cool. I think we're starting to get to know each other better. Today he said, don't call me sir, call me Jamal. Does he smell good? <laughs> what kind of car does he drive? <laughs> what? I bet he has a sexy ass voice, don't he? Okay, listen, he is really, really cool, but don't believe all the hype except for the part that he's really serious about what he does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes when he looks out for us work, he has these really kind eyes. Oh my god, girl, you are crushing on your boss. No, I am not. It is strictly business. Strictly mm -hmm. business. That's why you're feeling all up on that magazine. You know what? You're gonna leave me alone today. I'm um, tired. I'm going to bed. Good night. Yeah, well, take that magazine with you. Ha uh ha. -huh. Good morning. Okay, you have the, the conference call with the Johnsons, and you do have a lunch meeting mm -hmm. still. Mm -hmm. Rachel, just hold on my calls for right now. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Welcome. Mm. <laughs> oh, is that coffee? Keep it coming. No, it's not coffee. This is for that hangover face. Mm. Just keep it down. Oh, I'm so, so sorry. That is my mom's. Very special recipe. All I need you to do is sip, and I'll come add the magic ingredient. Okay, well, come on, give the magic ingredient, because that's not like magic. You sit back and relax. Oh, that's, that's good. Mm. It's actually really, really good. It's amazing, right? Mm. I always do this when I have a headache, and it goes right away. It will have you back to normal in no time. Uh, oh, yeah, that's mm -hmm. amazing. I'm actually... Starting to feel a little more sober, you know what? You done passed all of my other assistants. <laughs> you definitely the best one. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. I mean, Jamal. Mm. So, um, how did everything go with your grandfather? Oh, gosh. It was horrible. I mean, he's he's making me get married in order to inherit everything before he dies. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Your boy, Danny, said he was going to come through, and it came through. Dan, is hmm? all of this really necessary? Yes. Oh, I repped the amazing game this morning. And came up with the plan of the century last night. Wait. You're sober. Oh, man. I just knew you was going to be drunk from them three shots I told you not to take last night. I was a little hungover until... Rachel here cured me up with her mom's secret recipe. <laughs> Got the little... Hey, you know what? That is making me feel a lot better. You know what? That whistle, is that, the, is that a new one? Because I remember you had the rusty one. Actually, and, and this I, has it. Let me see that. You had the real one. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I was using Super Bowl 21, fool. It took me weeks to steal that from my cousin. Daniel, what's your plan? Okay. We're going to have the casting for our own reality TV show. Okay, okay y'all get it. Turn on any reality competition TV show. It's all the same. So, <laughs> you want Jamal to be on a reality show? No. Okay, so last night, when we was out kicking it, I ended up, I found me a chick. 
Took her back to the crib. You know. And when I was about to get my soiree on, she off someone to watch TV. I'm like, last night here, but okay. So when I turn it on, boom, that's when it hit me. What exactly hit you? One channel after another. Date this, wife her, marry him. Do you see where I'm going? You was by yourself last night, wasn't you? Stay focused. Okay. All I'm saying is, we can have a casting call for our own reality TV show. Boom. But this is not a reality show. They don't need to know that. All we need to do is get these fine women, check out their stats, match them up with my boy Jamal's needs here. When we get the one, we get the money. <laughs> it's brilliant, right? I'm telling you, it's amazing. Okay, wait, time right. out. You can't really be considering this. Ah, uh, it's not that bad. I mean, Danny has come up with a way worse plan oh. than that, you know what I mean? It's not that bad? This is insane. You can't just herd these women into some random <sighs> shit. I, I, help me understand. Spirit. Magazines. Most eligible bachelor. You know how many thoughts are already lined up to be this guy's lazy, sexy housewife? Look at him. You know what? Rachel's right. We, we, we can't do this. This is unethical. Thank you. This is reprehensible. Boo! I hate you and you use big words. Look, think about it. This is brilliant. It's great. Look, okay? It doesn't even matter anyway, because your boy here, Mr. Eligible Bachelor, has a date tonight. What? Okay. Okay, cool. Who? You have a date with who? <clears throat> Mer Mer <laughs> Motormouth Meredith? Yes, Motormouth Meredith. Oh. Who, who's that? Jamal's ex for five years. She never shuts up. Been talking to her. It's like talking to an auctioneer. You know what? It's not that bad, okay? She's, 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 uh, cool. She was nice. She, she, she was funny. She was exciting. She was cute. Okay. Look, desperate times calls for desperate measures, okay? And me and Motormouth Meredith, we kind of got along. So wait a minute. You would really consider marrying a girl that you really can't stand just to inherit your grandfather's company? Look, I'm not sure what I'm willing to do or what I'm not willing to do, but all I know is I'm single now and I can't be when Grandpa passes. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. I just came by to see my son. Hey, Mama. Hi, baby. Miss Ellen! Hey, oh my God, long time ago. Just gotta come by for dinner soon. You yeah. make that jerk chicken? Yes, we well, did. Yes. <laughs> Rachel! Oh, it's so good to see you. You look so beautiful. Miss Hawkins, always great to see you. Thank you, sweetheart. Hey, <laughs> Um, could y'all give us a minute? Do a little family thing. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you, guys. So good to see you both. Come, let's sit over. Talk. Talk with me, walk with me. Uh, so, honey, how are you really doing? I'm good. I'm okay. How's Grandpa? Oh, he's fine. So, um, you making any headway with uh, spouse hunt? Hmm? As a matter of fact, your son has a date tonight. <gasps> a date? Good news. Hopefully it's a fruitful one and no pressure. Yeah, no, no pressure. Uh, huh? You know... Your father would have been so proud of you. Sitting behind that desk. Oh, my gosh. Cover of a magazine. Thank you, Mom. My baby. Mwah. <laughs> Listen, honey, I just stopped by just to say hi. And I know you got a lot of work to do. But also to wish you good luck on your date tonight. Yeah. Hopefully she's a fun gal. Or at least can hold, like, a, a two-sided conversation. I mean, not like that last girl. What did Danny call her? Oh, yeah. Oh, Motormouth Meredith. <laughs> Oh, my God. And she was something. Yeah, she was, she was something. All right, babe. <laughs> All right. I love you. I'll love, see you later, right? Love you, too, love. Good. But anyway, I'm so excited for our date tonight. I can only imagine how much your phone has been ringing since you became Mr. Eligible Bachelor. So you can only imagine my surprise to see your text. So I'm like, hey, when this year's most eligible bachelor texts you, you should reply. Am I right? I was going to call you to say congrats or something, but you weren't really talking. So I was like, awkward. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, bruh, mm. I called her to check her out, you know, make sure that we good for the date. She talked for eight minutes straight, man. I ain't get a word in. <laughs> so I just hung up in her face, bro. What? I don't even think she noticed. <laughs> Yo, that's cold, brother. That's cold. <laughs> yeah, man, so. 
I was thinking, though, why don't we uh, do this uh, reality show idea you got? You, you, you playing with me? No, man. Yeah, yeah. I think it'll work, brother. I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. hey, that, that, I put the ad together. Uh -huh. uh, just put the word out. I'm gonna find you a perfect wife. Wait a minute. Wait. I don't want my name, my company name, or my face attached to this at all. All right? But that's so draw. I mean, the the money, the Spirit magazine, the most eligible bachelor. I mean, how am I gonna get these thirsty thoughts to think about you? And I mean, they gotta feed off of something. Yeah, but I don't think that's gonna look good with my granddad and company. It's gonna be all bad, bro. We can't do that. And we gotta make sure that we do background checks, everything. Make sure I ain't dating no psycho killer. You know what I'm saying? Ah, true, 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 true. So all I gotta do is put out an ad about a bachelor without having a bachelor. Exactly. I gotta get to work. You got it, Danny. You the man. I'm gonna make a video. You got it. I think I'm. Hey, man. You got Rachel's number? She blocked me, so I think it's gonna be harder if I'm by myself. Uh. So, good news. I went on and gave Danny the green light to go ahead and do the audition thing. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, yeah. I think it's a great idea, and I'm going to need your help with the auditions and everything like that. And I could use a woman's input. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. Okay, I think he's waiting on your call. Good luck. So, how about Jamal's grandfather? is making him get married to inherit the company. What? Mm-hmm. And he has Danny setting up his fake reality TV casting to find a wife. And has me helping him. Helping Danny? Mm-hmm. Ew. <laughs> no. <laughs> Doesn't Danny still have, like, a thing for you? Yeah, actually, just today, he sent me this little picture right here. No. Yes. That boy, he needs to stop. Oh, my goodness. You know, if your boss was a smart man, he'd just go ahead and marry you. Because you know you like the perfect woman. I do not mix business with pleasure. You're full of it. Me? No, we don't look at each other that way. It is strictly professional. You gave him your special remedy. He had a hangover. You massaged his temples. Listen, part of my job is to make sure that my boss is okay. And now, apparently, part of my job is helping my boss find a wife. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I'm glad that it's all strictly business for you guys. <laughs> Whatever. Just doing my job. Mm-hmm. Hello, ladies. My name is Daniel Royce, and I'm the producer of the up-and-coming hit reality TV show, Million Dollar Match. We're looking for women who think they have what it takes to lock down our wealthy and highly sought-after bachelor. We're searching high. We're searching low for those women who think that they have what it takes to lock down this wealthy hunk for good. If you think you have the special qualities that match up with a millionaire and you're in the L.A. area, please submit your name, a short video, and a few questions and a select few of you will be brought in for an interview if you are part of the select few you will have a chance to love on live tv what more could a woman want million dollar match yeah i had to come up with a fire name to get these tickets attention <laughs> bruh i'm telling you i'm putting this on every social media chat room classified and every forum we can find Cause I mean, you definitely flip that. I, I like. The, okay, so yeah, what, whatever we gotta do, I gotta, gotta do. do what Are you sure that you want to do this? I mean, this can open up a whole can of worms. What does that even mean? And if you mean by can of worms, droves of women, then yes, I think we want a whole gang of worms. <laughs>
Yeah, I mean, we, we, we've gone too far to come back now, so we, we got we to gotta make this happen. It's right. too far. Let's get started. I mean, let's get to it. All right, I'm going to start first with Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, 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 I mean, I've been looking for you for two... Oh, really? Uh-huh. Yes. Let me see here. You've been gone for two days and two nights. Did you have to go get the dirt for real? I'm, I'm sorry. I was just being very thorough. Plus, I got a little distracted. I don't pay you for distractions. You realize that? Yes, ma'am. You do not pay me for Um, uh, uh... Did you just say ma'am? Uh, my queen? CEO. My princess. Princess is fine. Yes, princess. Thank you. My brother has decided to hold a casting call to find his wife. Not entirely idiotic. So, what do we do? I mean, I'm sure there's millions of women who would love to marry your brother. We do what any great gambler does when the stakes are high. We rig the game. So I told my baby daddy, he can't be all controlling and things. I mean, we ain't together no more. He ended that when he went to jail. I mean, it would be different if my last three kids was his, but... Thank you for coming. What's that? What, what is that? So, um... Under occupation, you listed getting mine. Um, what exactly does that mean? Well, sweetie, it means exactly what it said. I get to mine. I hustle. I do what I got to do. <laughs> okay, 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 oh. then I manage. Go ahead. You know, you, get you, money, you, girl. you know, <laughs> you know. Get your money, girl. <laughs> so, oh, so under special skills and talent, uh, see so you have... Demonstration needed. Uh, what? You? Be cool oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. More horn. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Whoa, 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 I just need someone to take care of me and my baby. Uh, this ain't no charity. I'm speechless. You can go. This is exhausting. So, on your application, it says that you're an art major? Yes, that's true. So, what's your concentration? It's post-French Renaissance surrealism. And what made you choose that? Uh, well, my psychiatrist thought that it would help me channel my emotion into a more positive avenue. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you say psychiatrist? What the hell is wrong with you? Um, well, I uh, suffer from paranoid schizophrenia with delusional bouts of uh, involuntary rage. Should I have put that on my application? Oh, uh, hell yeah, you should have put that junk on the application. What, you crazy girl? Somebody like this check up. <laughs> Danny, 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 Danny. Hey, hey, man. Uh, I'm sorry. You know, uh, it's been a it's been a really long day for us. Uh, She's scary. How about some herbal tea? No, I don't want tea. Uh uh. uh, -uh. Mm. Ah. Mm -hmm. That one got me right there. <laughs> that got me. That got me. Do we stop? <laughs> How'd you learn to handle your liquor so well? <laughs> well, let's just say college was definitely one big party for me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so, wait, I don't remember. Were you at USC with us? Because I don't, I don't remember. Uh, I don't really remember. No, no, no. I, I, actually, I actually went to Harvard for business. Hey, yeah, Harvard. Harvard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So then, how exactly do you know Danny? Me and Danny, see, we, we went to kindergarten together, and he actually helped me beat up this girl named Monique. 
you beat up girls together. Yeah, she was a school bully. <laughs> <laughs> so we just kind of became best friends. And, you know, no daddy's an ass, but that's a school uh, boy. Oh, he's definitely an ass. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Speaking of daddy, how did y'all two end up together? Oh, wait, time out. We were never, ever true. No, not together. Uh, okay. Okay. So... Danny was actually one of the school tour guides, so he was one of the first people that I met. You know, he was cool. We went out together. We got way too drunk one night. Mm. Extremely drunk. That's Danny. And apparently, according to him, we slept together, kind of, but I don't remember that. I don't, <laughs> I'm not claiming that one. Not that there were many, but I don't remember. And, um, yeah. So then I kind of found him with one of my friends, and that was the oh. end. Yes. Okay, well, I mean, that's not too bad. Right? It wasn't yeah, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> then I, um, I ran into him recently, and I, um, I told him I was shopping my resume. He told me about the job, and uh -huh. the rest is really history. Oh, well, hey, Guy Code says that uh, you are my best friend's ex, so I, I gotta go pee. And I uh, hope that I get lucky and drown. Don't die. I'm going to drown. Drown. Why did you let me drink so much last night? I think it was Danny. Uh, I know her face. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is like heaven after you've been locked in hell. <laughs> yeah, kind of like um, a first sip of water after your five mile run. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like sex. sex. <laughs> mm. <sighs> awesome. Mm -hmm. No more liquor for me. Okay. Just say no. Mm -hmm. mm. You know? I want to take you somewhere. I think you'll like. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. let's, let's, oh, whoa. Let's let's go after, after the room stops mm -hmm. spinning. Ugh. Agreed. This is beautiful. This right here, this is my very special spot. And you know, sometimes I honestly feel like God created this rock just for me. I think he did. Mm. <laughs> You know what? I don't understand. Why is it so hard for you? What, to sit on a rock? It's, it's real uncomfortable. No, you know? not to sit on a rock. This whole, like, relationship thing. You're handsome. You have, you have everything going for you. So why is this settling down relationship bit just so hard for you? True. True. <sighs> well, my dad died when I was eight. I just remember us being the happiest family, you know? And then uh, one day we weren't. So we started drinking. Him and my mom would argue over every little thing. And one night, we got drunk and the argument got too bad and he stormed out of the house and I went to catch him. He said, Dad, what's wrong? He looked at me and he said, son, love sucks. And he left. Head on collision with an 18 wheel. He never even tried to slam on the brakes. I, I saw what it did to my mother, and I learned at a very early age that love isn't for everyone, so I just devoted all my attention and my time into the family empire. And now I have to find something I don't even believe in. <laughs> or lose the one thing that I do. I get it. I'm sorry. For <laughs> what? I'm sorry that I've misjudged you. Uh, the, we should go. Yeah. Because the ducks, they... Definitely have a busy yeah. afternoon. And it's rock. Please help me. I got you. Help me. <laughs> I mean, that's how you do it. I'm just trying to teach you do that well. Uh, <laughs> I think I found her. Bro, she's perfect. 
Wait, hold on. You, f you found who? Jamal's future wife. Intelligent, sophisticated, beautiful, gorgeous. Your mother and all the old people that Bart does is gonna love her. I uh, check her out. <clears throat> as I was saying, I'm currently in my second year as a PhD student at UC Irvine studying psychology, in particular, the role of culture and positive emotions on physiological and health outcomes. So with so much going on, oh, why are you auditioning? In all honesty, a friend dared me. So I said, why not? You interviewed her without me? Yeah, I called you twice and you didn't answer. This is ridiculous. <laughs> What do you think? She bad, right? <laughs> she, she all right. <clears throat> Rachel, what, what do you think? Um, I mean, I don't know either, but I guess she obviously has some good qualities. Come on! What's going on here? Y'all tripping! That girl's a 10. Do you not know what is at stake here? We know what's at stake, okay? Nobody forgot. So... We're gonna set this up or what? Set it up. Good Jesus. As I already did. If you meet her tonight, you have some devil you. Great. Well, um, before I go, I have some files that I need to get sent off to the post office. So I'll get this done tonight. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll I'll just see you tomorrow. I just caught. Um, no, you need to change. You got a date with a bad one. Because I don't like that outfit. If you dress fine to that, you got a bad date. Switch it up. Switch it up. Hey, you know. I just I wanna be happy. I was looking all over my house for my keys, and finally I just gave up. So I had to take an Uber here, and <laughs> sorry, him just rambling. There's nothing more annoying than when a girl doesn't know when to shut up. Oh, believe me, that. No, 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 not, not you. It was, it's just, it was this it's, girl. It's okay. You seem so nervous. Do I? I mean, you haven't even touched your food. You've just been kind of moving it all around your plate. Yeah, I guess I'm, I'm just a little, you know, out of my element, that's all. I mean, I get it. I'd be nervous, too. you got a lot of pressure on you. You've got the reality show, the company, yeah. that magazine cover you're on. So, uh, I think it you saw that, too, huh? Jamal, of course I saw it. Everyone <laughs> saw it. <laughs> uh, I guess you're right. So then why do you seem so down? I don't know. I guess I'm just really, really... Stressed the heck out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then why don't we just get out of here? And go where? I don't know. How about your place? Really? Yeah, I think I know just what you need to get rid of some of that stress. Check, please. Oh. Oh, that's it, right there. Right there? Oh, right there? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. 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 Last one. Oh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, you're amazing. I know. Thank you. That's exactly what I needed. You relax now? Yes. Okay, good. So, now what? Now? Now. Now, I get my car, and I go home, and you call me later. You don't have to leave, though. No, I do. My car's already on its way. You mm, I can tell you'll be calling me, though. Yeah. Okay, well, good. Then just call me. Call me tomorrow. Good night, Jamal. <laughs> good night, Candice. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Rachel. 
Ah, that's a great one. Great one. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> what exactly has gotten into you? You know what, Rachel? You can take the rest of the day off. Oh. Okay. Matter of fact, I'm gonna give everybody the rest of the day off. I'm gonna take the rest of the day off. Okay. You probably got some things to do. I got some things to do. Okay. Good. Have you seen my keys? I could be losing you And I wouldn't know Cause I haven't noticed you in a while And it crazy how time flies He found her He found her I couldn't take losing you Oh. 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 O
What did you just say? <sighs> okay, so just like always, the guys left just when it was time to clean up. So who's going to stay and help get the hands dirty? I will. Okay, cool. Rate you in? You know, um, I'm going to go to the office so I can get ready for that meeting we have with the board tomorrow. Good call. Well, don't worry about it, you know, because we got this. Yeah. But it was nice meeting you, though. Hmm, you too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. She's sweet. Yeah, that's the homie. So where do we start? With the number two maid service, like ASAP. Oh, <laughs> what happened to getting your hands dirty? Uh, I was still planning to. Oh, okay. You better do. You okay? Yeah. Um. Candace, can, can we talk? Okay. This, this whole thing is, is it's not what it seems. What is it? The whole reality show thing. There, there, there never was a reality show. I mean, this has all just been an elaborate scheme. Wait, what? Well, look, I, I do, you know, before you get upset, have a proposition for you. Because I am in a bit of a dilemma. And in order to get out of that dilemma, I need to be married. You need a green card? Because I'm not the one for that. <laughs> no, no. I don't need a green card. A as you know, my grandfather is very sick and he's dying. And I am inheriting everything. So in order for me to do that, he has stipulated in his will that I must be married first. That's the stipulation. Whoa, that's deep. Yeah. So are you proposing to me? Yeah, in a way, I'm, I'm proposing, kind of. Okay, so is this about love? I don't know, or... I mean, hey, I, I really, really like you, but... Oh, it sounds like business. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to come at you twisted or nothing like that, but, you know, hey... I, How much time do you have? A month. Okay. Oh, okay. I said, okay, I'll help you. Uh, really? I mean, it's not like it's a terrible thing. You're handsome, we got great chemistry, we have great sex, and I assume you're gonna take care of me, right? Oh, of course. Okay, so then who needs love with all that? <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna have to convince my grandfather and his attorneys and everything, all his staff, that we're really in love and it's not a fake wedding, but I think I can get Danny and Rachel to help you get to know everything about me. Okay. So do you have anybody that can help me get to know you? Um, yeah, I, I got somebody. I can figure it out. All right, cool. Okay, good. Good. So we're good. We're good. Still kind of mad about the reality show thing, though. Well, hey, you know, you ain't got to be mad. Because it's all going to work out. <laughs> I told her everything about the fake reality show, about my grandfather's crazy idea and his plan, and oh. everything. <laughs> what did she say? Surprisingly, she, she was good with everything. I mean, she, she's on board. So we can stop faking the whole reality show thing. We in the clear. Wow. No. I'm... I knew there was something special about that woman. Not just the face and the booty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you told me that. I said that off time. I'm telling you the first thing. Wait. Did I just come through? Daddy, you came through. I came through. I can't believe it. First time, you know. It re really? Huh. So there was really never a competition show. So funny. My brother's becoming very desperate. Thank you. I've got him right where I want him. Okay, but here's the problem. He wants to meet my people. Well, I don't have people. You didn't say nothing about no people. You told me just be fine and get him to like me. You didn't say all that extra stuff. Okay. And now he wants people to meet, and I don't got that, so... Right. Very dizzying. Okay. Um, I'm going to take care of all that. You just continue to do your part, you know? <laughs> okay. So then here's my other 
problem. You said you was gonna give me five million, and that's cool and all, but we need to talk about my compensation, cause compensation. he's talking about taking care of me. You know, house, car, you know, ring, bling. Listen to me, you little harlot. <laughs> You're gonna stick to the plan. Don't look at me, pay attention. <laughs> You're going to stick to the script, just like we said, or else I'm just going to expose you and tell my brother all about it. You see, that, or you'll end up right back at that sleazy little strip club that I found you at. Right up on that pole, getting it, getting it. Do you remember that? Just play the part, just like we discussed when the wedding takes place. You don't show up. It's very easy. Kind of easy as that. This is like super, super important. Everything is riding on this moment. You got to make sure that she knows everything about me, okay? Everything? Mm -hmm. Maybe not everything, because y'all know a few things that people don't need to know. <laughs> man, man. I show up. Hello. Sorry for interrupting. Next time, knock. I have a key. This is my cousin Darlene. We grew up together. She knows everything about me, and she's here to help with the process. Hey, Darlene. How you doing? How are you? It's so nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. Hey, baby. We don't got no time for that. Hello. Okay, so I need you to tell him everything you need to learn. So we're and starting now. Then. We're going to start do, now. When we get into okay. this, okay. I'm okay. Uh, dates, let's time, let's birthdays. Oh, oh, his mother, okay. his mother's a beautiful woman. Jamal's first Christmas? First birthday. You're doing great. You're doing great. You know? Thank gosh. Next. She went on to? Become class president. Vice president. Vice president. Vice. vice. Like Miami, Miami vice. vice. Did Jamal win second place at the spelling bee? Um, fourth grade? Come on, girl. Come on. You gotta know these things. Nobody remembers second place. That was the year I got first place, and the year we became friends. If you don't know that, you don't know Jamal. And this one. She's legend. Right. And this one? She hates. Yes, and this one. Her favorite. No, no. no. Oh. Apples are her Apples. favorite. We just did this 10 minutes ago. Are you kidding me? Jamal's first word. 11 months, and they were bad, bad. Okay. 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 Yeah, I know what's okay. up. Okay. Candace's SAT score. Come on, please. 2250. <laughs> Can I get some? Gotcha. You better have known that. Now we're both tied at 18 apiece. This is the tiebreaker. Are you ready? This is for the both of you. Ready? What is your partner's favorite childhood bedtime stories? Wear a blanket. Come on, you little kid. You know it. Oh. I know it. Rumpelstiltskin. Ah! Oh, okay, winner! Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I like that. That's what I'm talking okay. about. Well, it's just... Okay. It used to make you cry. That... You didn't... That, uh. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So... I think we're gonna do this. I think we need an engagement party. Let's I think do she's it. right. Let's do it. I think she's right. Yep. Let's do it. All right. Party time. Ooh, ooh. Get, get to put a dress right. on. Thank you all for coming to our engagement party. Okay, and uh, drink up on us. <laughs> 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 oh, this is my lovely fiance, Candace. Mom! Oh, oh my gosh, it's yeah. so nice to meet you. I've heard so much about you, so many great things. <laughs> gosh, I wish I could say the same. Uh, but uh, no, it's it's so nice to meet you, dear. Well, Jamal, you must have been being secretive. Ah, you know me. <laughs> yeah, I would say so. So, uh, <clears throat> how long have you two been knowing each other? Well, I mean, we, we were dated a yeah. while ago, mm -hmm. and then... Like, a couple years ago, yeah, and then... Recently ran into each other. Like, boom! Uh, the, and then, you, you know, do it. Boom. Available. <laughs> right. and I was available, mm -hmm. okay. and then, you know, it worked. Oh, and available. Oh, so you two are uh, in love enough to get married, yeah? Yes! Yes! Mm -hmm. Yes! Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, in that case, why don't we have dinner tomorrow night at your grandfather's? We just get the vetting process over with. <laughs> don't you agree? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm in. Well, is this dinner going to be a family affair? Monica, dear. Mm. You know, you're always welcome. 
Well, then I'll be there with bells on. And we'll be there too. Not together. With that being said, I'll see you tomorrow then. Enjoy the party. Um, drink up. Drink up! Oh. <laughs> nice meeting you too, dear. Thank you. Excuse me. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Whew. That was close. Very close. I think we got it. Now. Yeah. So we were able to cover that. Right? She was on. That's the last thing we talked about. Hi. Can I talk to you for a second? Oh, thank you. Excuse me for a moment. <laughs> what the hell do you want? We need to talk. Well, people are not supposed to see us. Remember, we don't know one another. I want 15 million. <laughs> of course you do. But that was not the deal. Screw the deal. I'm running this now. You can give me 15 million, or I'll just marry your brother and get it that way. You wouldn't dare, or else I will tell my brother. Oh, you're going to tell on me? I will expose you. I'll expose you first. Oh. And then you'll end up with nothing. I'm pretty sure your grandfather wouldn't like you interfering with your brother's search for a wife. Well, look at you. My little Frankenstein. Mm, little Miss Frankenstein is all grown up now, and I'm about to get paid. So you think. Watch your mouth. <laughs> I don't think so. Rachel, this is not what it looks like. Nah, bitch. It's exactly what it looks like. For how much? <laughs> what? How much for your silence? You know this wedding doesn't take place. I'm going to be a very wealthy woman. <laughs> <laughs> how does 15 million sound? 15 million Would you dollars? Shut your mouth. Oh my gosh. Shut it up. Oh, wow. 15 million. How does that sound? <laughs> you know, I'm so sorry. Some things are priceless. Some things, money can't buy. <laughs> you poor little silly girl. <laughs> I've got your poor little silly girl, boo. Some things money can't buy like what? What's she talking about? Are you, did you really just say that? Jamal, I need to talk to you, and I need to talk to you now. Hey, what's, what's going on? You okay? Jamal, don't listen to her. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to what? What's, what's with all this? What this little tarsh? Hey, 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 hey. Monica, what the name calling? I didn't mishear anything. Jamal, there isn't going to be a wedding. <laughs> is, is this some kind of joke? They're working together. Who? <laughs> what's going on? Candace and your sister. They are working together to make sure that there isn't a wedding. They are planning to stand you up at the altar so that you cannot fulfill your grandfather's will. And so that Monica inherits the company. Really? No. Candace, is that true? Jamal, it's like you said, this was just business. <sighs> wow. Jamal, wait. Damn. You go. Shut up. Everybody out. Clearly not having a party. You say I was the one to love you first. That's it. That's all. Sure. Oh, thank you. Thanks. But. I just don't understand. Like, there has to be something that we can do. Why can't we just tell your grandfather what your sister did? Uh, you, you don't know him like I do. He'll just give away the company, and neither one of us will inherit. It's not right. I know, I know. But, uh, in his sick little mind, it is. You know, I guess he just feels like if I haven't found love by now, I never will. And the company will just ruin my life. I just don't get how he expects me to find something. I don't know what it looks like. Damn it, Jamal. Come here. Wait. What about Danny? Don't make me hurt you. <laughs> Nobody worry about Danny. I didn't think about Danny. Mm-mm.
So that's what he meant. What? <laughs> Nothing. Good morning. Good morning. You hungry? Yeah, I actually am. Hmm. But how about I'll be your assistant for the day? What do you want? Surprise me. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love we can't see. Love is part of it. Something we can do. Deep inside. There you go. And it's hard to find. Everyone has the right to love who they choose to. Of course, you know, Monica, she's jealous because I've always been my grandfather's favorite I'm grandchild. Cute one too. Yes, I'm the cute one. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. No, no phone. Sorry, no phone. Uh, no 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 no. It's just so loud. Oh. I completely forgot about the dinner tonight. Are you still gonna go? Well, yeah, I think I should go and explain to my mom what's get prepared for what's about to happen or not happen. Mm. I want you to go with me. You sure? Positive. Mm. And after that, mm -hmm. we come back to bed world. Fine. That's what we do. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? We have a dinner date to keep. <laughs> uh, Candace, you've caused enough problems for me. Now, you need to leave so I can get in there and tell my mama the truth. Could you just give me a second to explain? There is absolutely nothing to explain. You need to leave. Oh, you too. So you were my competition all along. Uh, hmm. What are you done with? Look. No. <laughs> What's going on here? Danny, I'm I'm really sorry, man. It's just, yeah. it, it just it just happened. Happened? Happened? What about the guy code? Oh, come on with the guy code. What what about Brandon? And then motor mouth narrative. You didn't think I knew about that, did you? That's different. You didn't even like them. I love her. We talked about this for weeks. And you, we gonna have a discussion. Oh, yeah. oh best be leave, boo boo. We gonna talk about this. We gonna talk about this. Uh -huh. Oh, we gonna have a discussion. Oh, we gonna have a discussion. I don't know. So you two are an item, splendid. But can you go in there and pass the test with the lawyers? I don't think so. Oh, so what, you and Monica came up with a new little plan? No, I'm not working with Monica anymore. This is all me. Jamal, I know everything there is to know about you, and you know everything there is to know about me. <laughs> I don't think I know anything about you, Candace. As far as they're concerned, everything you know about me is the truth. We have a really good chance at winning this thing. Do you have any morals? What do you want? Jamal. 20 million. You get your beautiful wife. You get to keep your company, your little side piece here, and everybody's happy. You're seriously considering this? Look, Rachel, this could work. And, and I can keep the company, I mean, don't you see? No, I can't see. Because marriage is about love, not this. And doing it for any other reason is just wrong. The company is all I know, Rach, since I was a little kid, that this could be my last chance. Well, then you should take it. But I'm not going to stand by and watch. I deserve a lot more than being some married man's side piece. Give me the keys to the car I'm leaving. You can come get your car tomorrow. I won't be there.
Well, she wasn't a team player, was she? How do I even know you're going to keep your end of the deal? Look, I'll sign a contract, whatever you need, on top of the prenup. Can we just go in there and do this? No, we, we can't go in there and do this right now. I'm not even mentally prepared for any of this. Look, let me go in there and deal with my family, and you and I can get the vetting process together and out of the way tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Fine. 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 I just can't believe it. I'm sorry, I don't even know what to say. I'll get you a beer, bro. <laughs> you know what? Huh? I'll drink one with you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, you know how much I hate beer. I do. <laughs> How do you drink that? <laughs> Who's that? I don't know. Tell him to go away. I will get it. You do. What do you think? So all this was because of some chick? Did you get revenge, huh? And when? Best freaking tool. I don't remember how fine you looked at that total part. Oh, I swear. Oh, I swear. That night might have meant nothing to you, but it was everything to me. It was the best night of my life. I had the purple toga on that night, and I was like, damn. You know what? I didn't go to the toga party that year. As a matter of fact, I know because I was sick. And you know who had on a purple toga? You remember Jasmine. You remember Jasmine, don't Why you? Why you bring up her name? Yeah, she was wearing a purple toga. Oh, damn. I think you might be right. I was drunk. I was really drunk that night. I mean, yes. Uh -uh. Goodbye. Get out, Dan. You want to buy any chance on Jasmine's number, would you? Uh-uh. Wait. Nope. Just... You're done. No. Wait. Let's hey, go. Let's go. No. Can I at least done. have her Twitter handle? What am I going to do with you? You're done. Get out. Uh-huh. They used to call me the lucky one, lucky one. Until my luck ran out. Now they can't call me the lucky one, lucky one. <laughs> On behalf of Mr. Hawkins, your grandfather, we officially approve of this union. Listen, so you coming, right? Man, I'm not coming to that, man. I mean, you see what happened at the engagement party? <laughs> Yeah. That chick is crazy. I just I don't know, man. If, if I don't do it, I don't get nothing. Oh, no, you definitely got a billion choices. I mean, I know that's not the type of chick for you, man. I mean, she, she fine and all, but <laughs> for sure. And, yeah. You know, but as your boy, man, just think about it. Don't just jump into no situation like that. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just I'm gonna think about it as you should. Chick, yes, sir. Honey? You look so handsome. <laughs> you. So where's Rachel? I haven't seen her. Um, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think Rachel's going back here. Oh, okay. Well, um, I have something I want to give you. Oh, what? This was your grandmother's, uh, she gave it to me on my wedding day, and I want to give it to you so you can give it to the woman that you love. Your wedding day? Hey, man. Okay, so the thing with Rachel 
uh, you can go relay this. There was another chick. I realized that got really awkward between us, and it's totally for nothing. Look, I don't want us to fight over Daddy, this anymore. We, we good. We good. Let me say it. We good. Know. Okay. Look, hey. Let's not fight over chicks no more. You're my best man. You're about to get married. You're about to get married. There's no point to it. You're about to get We're grown. We're, we're, we're All right. <laughs> no more chicks. No more chicks. All right. <laughs> what was that about? about you it. don't want to know. <laughs> Honey, there's something I need to tell you. Um, I know you blame your father for leaving. It wasn't his fault. What are you, what are you trying to say? You know, I grew up poor, and um, I was struggling and, and scraping for everything that I had. Uh, I met your father after his first marriage to Monica's mother. And it was every woman's dream, and he had everything that money could buy. So uh, one day he tells me that he loved me from the first moment that he saw me. He would do anything to make me happy. So. I led him on when he asked me to marry him. Only after a few months, he was a loving man, a great father. But none of that mattered because the fact remained, I never loved him. I married a man for the wrong reasons. One day we were arguing and uh, it just came out. I told him that I never loved him. And it broke his heart. It wasn't his fault that he left. I drove him away. And I never forgive myself for that. They say that um, men marry their mothers. <laughs> and I see myself in that, Candace. If that's what you want, I will support you. But please know, you deserve better. Now, so I'm trusting you with that because I know you'll do better than I did. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's over. Are you sleeping? Good. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm about to do this now. Excuse me, Pastor. Can I say something? Go ahead, Mr. Hopkins. Um, Jamal, I hope you found your crown. Well, carry on, Pastor. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today for the joining of these two individuals to become one flesh in the sight of the Lord. I could what be God has a lucky brought together. Star, the one that you wish upon, yeah. And you could be my lucky charm. I can go nowhere without. I get it. Baby, we could go so far. What? I'm sorry that I missed that. Yeah. But you're not being by my side. Don't want to even think about. Can't even think about. No man can tear apart. If there's anyone here who objects to this union, please speak now or forever hold your peace. I object. Like, I kind of object to... What? Yeah. Are you serious? I, I know, I know. No, we had a deal. I know. I, I, hold on. Really? Look, Grandpa, I, I just can't do this, okay? 
if it means you have to give this company to someone else, then so be it. But I, 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 I'm what's wrong, boy? I know what you're talking about. I, I saw that look in her eyes, but she's not here. Well, then why are you here? <laughs> What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be on your fake honeymoon? Look, Rachel, I'm, I'm... You know what? I cannot believe that I helped coach her on how to pass that stupid test for your lawyers. You know what? Maybe, maybe part of this was my fault. It was my fault because I didn't tell you how I felt sooner. Rachel, if you just... You know what? I deserve so much more. You know, from now on, I have to start thinking with my head and not with my heart. Wait. And does this mean you're not married now? Not yet. Are you serious? Are you doing that right now? I'm serious if you say yes. Is this for love or for your grandfather's company? This is for love. But I can't pass that stupid test for your for your lawyers. I can't pass. I'm not concerned about the tests. I, I, I finally see it. I see what my grandfather was trying to tell me. That that look in your eyes. That's that's what I can't live without. I don't care. Or my grandfather's will, or my mother thinks, or my sister. All that matters is you. Rachel Marie Harris. Will you marry me? Who is that? Are you okay? My grandfather just passed. No. Jamal, I'm so sorry. I guess then that means that, you know, we don't no, have No, no, no. I meant everything that I said. This is for love. First of all, I'd like to thank you guys for uh, being so willing to beat me at a time like this. Uh, as you know, Mr. Hawkins was unable to uh, meet his grandfather's final wishes in time. And as uh, seeing that Mrs. Monica Hawkins decided to interfere with Jamal's search, which, by the way, was something that your grandfather foresaw. <clears throat> the will stipulates the Let It Roll Corporation and all of Mr. Hawkins' assets in their entirety are to be transferred to the shareholders. So, uh, where does that leave me? Well, you're, you're still to remain director of operations and COO, but the, uh, the primary ownership will transfer to the primary shareholders, or should I say, shareholder. Mrs. Avion Hawkins, as the majority shareholder in the company, as of right now, all of the remainder of Mr. Hawkins' assets, including his primary shares of the company, are to transfer directly to you. OK. 
continue, please, Timothy. Yes, ma'am. Mrs. Hawkins has chosen to forego her stake in the Let It Roll Corporation, as well as all of the assets that pertain to Mrs. Hawkins and Mr. Hawkins. She has instead elected to transfer all rights and entitlements to her son, Mr. Jamal Hawkins, but is not limited to primary ownership and control of the Let It Roll Corporation and all of its conglomerates. Mm. 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 So, Mr. Hawkins, there are a few documents uh, that you might have to sign in my office when you get a minute. No problem. <clears throat> Congratulations, Mr. Hawkins. If you're looking for assistant, I'm very Eddie! coming. <clears throat> you know about this, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> Not at first. Uh, your grandfather told me before he passed. Honey, he wanted you to have the world. He just knew that there were some things money couldn't buy. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have deserved it, honey. All of it. Now go get your girl. I love you. I love you, too. Look at the perfect <laughs> Yo, man, I knew he was going to do it. It wasn't how I thought, but you know what I'm saying? I can trust my own heart Because it's selfish And it plays its part In heartbreak And it's real Something I